Hi y'all. So I am currently training for a triathlon. And so I kind of just wanted to bring y'all into the process and show y'all how that training's going and kind of just like give you an update of how triathlon season's going for me. So this is going to be just a vlog, kind of a little informal about a week in the life of training for a triathlon. So a little bit more context before diving right into the clips of like the actual training. So I have a goal of doing a sprint triathlon and I'm not gonna tell you when because I just kind of wanna do it and not really tell that many people and then just like at the end be like, oh my God, congratulations, I did it, it's done, it's over with. But I wanna do a sprint and then later in the season, hopefully do an Olympic. But I think Coming into this, I wanted to do the Olympic really badly, which the Olympic distance, for those who don't know, is like 1,500 meters in the pool, 26-ish miles on the bike, and then a like six mile 10K run afterwards, which is nothing to scoff at, versus like this sprint is a 750 meter swim, 15 like mile bike ride, and then a 5K afterwards, which like is significant, it's like half of what the, the Olympic is. And I feel like I came in really like, oh, I can do all of these different parts individually. But then the realization is kind of setting in that like, oh my gosh, yeah, you can run six miles or you can, do a 26 mile bike ride or like a an almost mile swim, but like putting them all together and like doing them like cumulatively is what's kind of like giving me like a pause to be like, let's just see if we like it first. But again, my goal is to do the sprint, see how I like it, see if I enjoy it, see if I can do it. And then from there progress either this season or next season into the Olympic. But this is just like the, a day in training and how it went. And yeah, I hope you enjoy. Good afternoon, y'all. So it's Monday, and on Monday, we swim. So this is my suit. Hold on, I'll show you. So this is the suit situation. It's just a, a tri-suit, T-U-I-R. If you know, you know. Those are the best suits for swimming. But this is a, the look we got going on. And so I usually head to my high school pool. So usually I head down to the high school that has a pool, which is like really bougie and luxe. I mean, the pool is not that nice, but like the fact that there's a high school that has a pool in it is like a, kind of a wild concept to me, but I'm going to head out to the high school pool and I'll show you some clips of that, except it's a high school. So I didn't really film that much because, you know, that's weird and everyone's in their swimsuits, but I will share with you something. So here's my swim cap and my goggles. I use these bungee bands on my goggles. I just don't prefer the plastic that it comes with, but I've had these forever. Swimming is one of those things that like I train with a group for triathlons, but swimming is something I do completely independently and it's something I feel really confident in. So I usually try to swim at least two times a week. I usually swim two times a week and I get my workouts online if I can't make them up myself. And I usually try to keep the distance anywhere from 1650, which is the mile mark. I try to hit at least a mile every single time I swim and usually go above that into like the 2000s range. And if I'm really feeling it and there's not that many people in the pool, I'll get up to 3000, which is like, a, it's not a long distance. I mean, it is, but if you break it up, it's not that bad. It's just kind of like a long time to be in the pool. Um, but again, I enjoy the pool. Swimming is my like favorite discipline. So yeah, that's, I just kind of find workouts online and just do them as they come up. So, all right. So I, this is the second day or like third, if you're counting Sunday, which is long run day, this is the second day. So it's a Tuesday of like a week of triathlon training. So today I went and today I'm going, um, I went for a run. So I ran three miles rested, came back and ate some dinner. And now I'm going to go to the track and do like a track workout, which is more speed. And so this will be interesting. I've been going to these track practices and I really enjoy them. So let's see how this goes. Package from OWN or only what you need. So let's see what's inside. They decided to send me some goodies, which I'm very thankful for. And I will probably use these before I go on my track workout later today. So this is just some information about their protein shakes. Um, 
very thankful for them sending this. I have really gotten into these little protein shakes recently. I've been using my Fairlife ones a lot, but this will be really interesting to, to taste these and see how they compare. Okay, looks like I got some protein powder to try, which again, it's 100% plant powder. Um, so very excited to try this out. This is actually a brand that I've been meaning and looking at, but I just really wanted to see how this stacks up and how this tastes. So thankful for that. Cheers. Oh, that's good. That's really good. It's very sweet, um, but it definitely doesn't taste like, sometimes protein powders are just like chalk and this tastes really good, so. Amazing. It's a little while later, I just painted my nails, took a shower, and I just wanted to explain what happened at trap pra tra track practice because I kind of like don't want to film for my privacy as well as other people, so I don't really like, and it's also just awkward to film. Um, like I wouldn't just put it down because I was practicing with some other people, but today we did like shorter distances, which is really tough because I'm not like a short distance runner. Um, so we did like, four 100 meter dashes and then four 200 meter dashes and then you'd think we did four 400s we did not do that we skipped from 200 to 800 and that was a pretty tough thing but it felt good i was keeping a consistent pace i have realized now my consistent pace for like a 400 which is one loop around the lap is like within like the 140 to 145 range is where it's like pretty consistent so it's doing um 800s like 145 per each lap which you can do the math it's about like a seven minute mile um but anyway it felt good so i did three miles before that and then that was like two and something miles anyway so feeling good it was a hot day Okay, so I'm getting myself together and ready to go on a bike ride. It is so incredibly hot. It went from like, oh, like it's springish to like summer, bam, dying and like deceased. So I have to make sure I hydrate really well, which means I'm going to show y'all um, my hydration kind of plan. I got this water bottle that's going to come in handy as I ride. It even has like little people little like bikers on there so so I don't die but this is the pre-workout that I've been using most recently um it's got all of those good things in there so I'm gonna put it into my uh shaker blender bottle so that I can hydrate and then get myself ready to go ride it okay wanted to show just the fit I was wearing I gosh there's just like People who wear super cute fits biking, I like aspire to be them. These are just some like old bike shorts I have and then just like a top and like not looking cute. I mean, like, ugh. anyway. Me and then they see Smee Bake back there, and we're on our way to go biking. Okay, so 
So I just got done with my bike ride, rode about like 12 miles and I'm so sore. I can't even begin to. Okay. Like I was briefly saying, I drove back home and now I'm just like talking. I am dead tired. There's my back back there. Um, dead tired. I have just kind of pushed myself a lot this week, but that is okay. I have built in a rest day for tomorrow. We'll see if I actually take it. I hope I do. Like future me, please take that rest day that you need. Um, but yeah, so did 12 miles. Um, according to my watch, let's see. According to my Apple watch, I had like an a total distance of tw a total distance of 12.81 miles an average speed of about like 14 ish miles which like according to some people who have like um bike kind of gps's or bike computers or stuff like that like it might be off by quite a bit but like either way that's pretty fast for me it was pretty flat um but yeah i felt good it was just like a nice day it like it was just a beautiful ride so feeling good about it so i respected past me's wishes and actually did a rest day which was really kind of hard for me because i hate doing rest days but they're important and then for day five i did a swim practice but this practice was a little bit different it's not just swimming laps i was working on like open water skills with a group and so that's very different it's like looking at sight lines things like that but this is just like in a different pool not just lap swimming okay so i just got done with my swimming like training thing um so we were training for open water uh that was awful i need to get into like actual open water because like that's what most triathlons are in so i need to like actually train but we were trying to like train how to go around buoys like sightseeing all of that for day six i went on a bike ride this was also like a skills clinic it was like learning what to do on your bike how to turn how to switch gears things like that and then we went on a little bike ride afterwards so i do a lot of group training because i don't feel like i'd be able to do this without a group but this is just some clips that i got of the bike ride and it was a great bike ride the training was really helpful i hate the bike though and then for day seven we decided to go on a long run and this was really exciting this was the first long run that i had done with my water vest thing that i got from Solomon and I absolutely adore this new water vest that I got. Here's just the water bottle. Here's me putting it in. I was so excited. There were so many clips of me telling you how to use it but I decided to trim it down. Okay so in the pouches there's like so many different little pouches but I'm gonna put a goo in each pouch just to kind of make it balance. So there's a pouch on each side. Oh I'm kidding there's only one pouch on this side. There's little pouches like in here. There's just a lot of little pouches. So I'll put the goos in here and then I also have something else. And then also in terms of like storage, there is like the storage area for the bladder, but I don't have a bladder right now. So I think what I'm gonna do is just like, if I ever go like, like if you ever go with like a jacket or something, you can put it in this bag. Um, also there's a zipper over here which will be nice and i might put like my phone in there so and then i have these scratch energy tubes from scratch labs which i'm trying to to try scratch labs i've heard good things so i'm also going to put this in somewhere and there you have it we have a complete vest full of things so and then it just goes on with these little bungees and yeah we'll see how this this goes I've never ran with one of these before, so this will be really interesting. Um, it feels a little like quite heavy, but we'll see. Okay, now I'm just gonna stretch a little bit before I go because I need to. I'm really bad about stretching, but let's do it. Okay, so I did a few stretches. I probably should do more, but that would be like my famous last words. I should probably do more. Got my sunscreen on and I'm ready to go.
<clears throat> okay so i cut it a little bit short i was trying to go 13 i went 11 because i have something to do oh hazel wants to say hi um so i cut it a little short because i have something to do and i gotta gotta get there get dressed and all that so i cut it a little short i might run later today you can split up runs when you're doing long runs but i might do two more later today after the event i'm going to but yeah I would say overall, this was very helpful. I really liked it. It's a little heavier than what I'm used to, but I like that like to like drink water, you just like press down and it comes out. So it's easy to do while running. And I, all the scratch labs, they were kind of like tasteless. I didn't like love that, but yeah, it felt pretty good. But like you saw in those clips, I feel like they're really short. I didn't have a lot of like, here's the actual workouts that I'm doing. But I feel like I've really enjoyed this structure of like, okay, it's a swim day. Okay, it's a run day. Okay, it's a bike day. Like we're going and like repeating those cycles has been really helpful to keep on schedule. However, I will say it does kind of get a little like intense, especially when you're like, oh my gosh, I have to go out and do like a like one hour bike ride in the middle of the week and I have no time and I can't do that I feel like that's where it gets difficult unless you're training with a group and you're like we have like a certain practice location I feel like it's difficult to get out there and do those things during the middle of the week and that's always what they tell you with like long runs or like races and stuff they're like it's not the the weekends that are the problem it's like keeping up with the schedule in like the training during the week. So I would say that that was the most difficult part and has been the most difficult part of training has been like trying to get out there during the week. Um, because the weekends it's like easy to schedule that time, but during the week you're like, I'm tired, I'm exhausted. Either I'm doing it before work or I'm doing it after work. Either way, it's really difficult to keep up with. So I would keep that in mind while training for a triathlon. But that is all I have for you. I know this was a little bit more informal and just kind of like, spur of the moment but i hope you enjoyed and i will keep you updated about my races and what happens with those but i will see you in the next one bye